I spent a lot of time searching for a good bike that fits my budget. I bought this bike on October 2021 and I've ridden around 1,000 miles since then. Now, I want to give you my very honest review. Probably I'll make another review in the future if anything changes. First of all, I was just looking among well-known brands for an aluminum bike with a good setup and focusing mainly on the gears and price of course when I discovered Twitter bikes in a post in Reddit. This post got me curious to look into unknown brands like Twitter bicycles, well, unknown at least for me. So, I decided to do the homework and I noticed that the brand is well known in countries where quality and prices matter more than the brand itself. They are very famous in the eastern countries and growing their presence in countries like Canada, Chile, Colombia, Argentina and especially in Brazil. Later, I found out that there's actually an importer in United States as well. I'll put the link in the description. I went on YouTube and saw hundreds of positive reviews in Asian languages. So I checked in Poor Genius website and I discovered that many famous frames sold in America are just the same Twitter frame with a personalized sticker. However, the customized frames cost as much as a whole bike from Twitter. Another point that made me very confident about the brand and made me go for a carbon fiber bike instead of an aluminum famous brand was that I discovered that most countries, including the USA, require the importer for some quality and safety certification made by a third party. This means that the same fatigue and impact testing will be required for all brands and all of them have to achieve the same standards. Homework done, I noticed that I could get more bang for the buck. For the same price, I'd be able to get a carbon fiber bike instead of aluminum. To be honest, that was too fancy for me. Maybe unnecessary. Well, until I compare them closely. The weight difference is ridiculously big for a bike. I needed a carbon fiber bike. I just didn't know it at that point. I also discovered that to become an importer or manufacturer in the USA, companies have to follow a code of federal regulations to make sure the products are compliant with a bunch of criteria for quality and safety. I'll leave the link in the description of the video. I also checked that the list of requirements is enormous, and the bikes have to follow as government criteria and thoroughly tested in a certified lab. The shit is serious. Without these tests, it's impossible to get customs clearance. When I discovered that Twitter is certified in the USA and Europe, I got super happy because I realized that I could have a top carbon bike for the same price I'd be paying for an aluminum one. Anyways, I think I already extended too much. Let's go to the review. So, let's start with the tires. My bike comes with Innova Pro. I'm not a tire specialist, but I found this tire being sold for prices similar to famous brands, which made me believe that the quality is similar too. This is one of the most important pieces of a bike. The most famous and recognized brands are the Japanese Shimano and the American SRAM. My Twitter came with a SRAM Rival 22 speed, but Twitter has many other configurations. The derailleurs came regulated, and even after 1,000 miles, as you can see, the chain fits perfectly in the cassette, and no marks of wear and tear are visible. The frame and the fork are incredibly light. You can easily lift it up over your head with one hand. Cyclistshub.com compared 500 bikes. My bike that weights 21 point for pounds has one of the cheapest price per gram of the market. This is amazing. Twitter frames are handmade with a high modulus carbon fiber material through a technology called EPS, which means the frame parts that receive more pressure are covered with a thicker layer, while other parts of the frame don't receive that much pressure is covered with a thinner layer. Besides, the direction in which fibers are positioned allows the pressure to be dissipated at some points of the frame. The frame comes with internal wiring which gives a stylish finish to the bike. I chose disc brakes and the advantage of this system is precision and maintenance for what I need. It's much easier to brake if your wheels are wet, covered with slugs or bent. There are three kinds of disc brakes, hydraulic, mechanical and a mix of both. In hydraulic systems disc brakes, you need to apply less pressure at the lever for the same braking power. However, they may cost a few times more and I can't see such a need for this kind of gravel bike if you're not a professional. On the other hand, the hydraulic mechanical system could be a better option because it is cheaper to maintain. 
In this system, the hydraulic piston is near the brake caliper and not close to your hand, and the expensive oil is not inside the cables throughout the bike, but only in the piston. The original saddle is very comfortable and is not something that you must upgrade. I did it just because I was convinced by online ads that a seat with a whole cow would be nice and refreshing for men, but I didn't feel any difference. The handlebar is aluminum made, curved and very light. The original handle grip is well finished, but I preferred to replace it for a larger one. I found it necessary for long rides. My Twitter has lightweight aluminum alloy hubs, good enough to surpass my expectations. The rim is also produced by Twitter. My bike has a lightweight aluminum alloy double layer, reinforced with beautiful reflective decals that I feel quite useful especially because I like riding at night. You can buy a Twitter bike on eBay or directly on their website, where I think it's a bit cheaper. You can also use a code to get a discount, I'll leave it in the description below. I've had many bikes my entire life. I really love cycling, and I consider myself privileged for living in Florida, which has so many beautiful bike trails. In conclusion, a Twitter bike's good? Absolutely. The experience was mostly positive, from the delivery to assembly to the first 1,000 miles ride. Everything was within or exceeded expectations. This bike has an excellent cost benefit. It has performed beyond most brands' entry-level options whose prices are insane, and I hope they can create more competitive pricing shortly, as road cycling is an expensive sport for most. If you believe my review helped you to save money, consider a small tip or make a comment below. I promise I will spend all money in bicycle accessories.